Hello, I'm Duncan Wells, and this is Stress-Free Saving. Today, we're going to demonstrate getting out of our berth using a bow bridle. Here we are, being held alongside by the bow bridle. To depart, we leave the engine in a stern, take the running end of the bridle off the winch, and haul in on the standing end, the inboard end. And off we go, all handled from the cockpit. So, how did we set this up? Well, we'll take a line from the cockpit inside the shrouds to the bow. And then we'll go around the bow cleat. Remember that we set this up and make sure that the boat is being held alongside with the bow bridle before removing any of the mooring warps. So now it's onto the dock and we'll take that line around the cleat on shore by the bow. And then it's back up on board amidships. About there. That's good. And we'll secure this bridle on the cockpit winch. Now, if I use a spinnaker halyard, I can do this in one run. But with these Dyneema sheets, they're too short, so I'll have to join two of them up. I'll tie a bowline in the end of one. And then I'm going to take the other sheet through this and tie a bowline in that too. And we'll keep this join on the inboard side of things. So next I'll take this second sheet and attach it to a secure point in the cockpit. Of course some boats have lots of winches to choose from and others have just the one winch and no convenient securing points. So here we've put a bowline into the end of a spinnaker sheet and looped this over the winch as our standing end, our inboard end. And we secured the running end to the same winch. Notice how the inboard end of the line is the one with the snap shackle attached. We always want our running ends to be free of loops and obstructions so they can be free to run. I'll tension the bridle on the winch. Now I need to put the engine astern and make sure she's holding to the bridle before losing the lines. I'll just click her into gear astern. We won't need any more than that in these conditions. And there we go. We can see the head spring has slackened off. I'll now take the lines off one by one. We can rely on the bow bridle to hold the bow in. The only part of the boat that might wander off the dock would be the stern if there was a breeze blowing her off. Or, if we're exiting stern into the tide, we might find the tide pushes the stern away from the dock. So that's the back spring off, and now we'll take off the bow line. This chap does chat away to himself rather, doesn't he? I think it's to remind him of what he's supposed to be doing. So I will release the stern line and see if, given some slack, the stern wants to wander off. We also kicked a starboard in a stern, and so this can increase the effect. There's not much movement, so I'll just bring her in a bit. Step on, and we can go. I take the bridle off the winch and haul in on the inboard end of the line as we go backwards. And that's it. On this day, there was a wind blowing us off the dock, and so we set up a slipped stern line to hold us. My daughter Ellie will release this, and I will handle the bridle. With the stern free, I take the bridle off the winch and haul in on the standing end, and we exit the berth. Here's what it looks like from on board. As I said, on this day, we have a slipped stern line to hold the stern in. Ellie's going to let this go, although if I was on my own, I would do this and then release the bridle. She's let the stern line slip, and so I take the bridle off the winch and haul on the inboard end, and off we go. Notice that I've secured the inboard end on the winch, rather than tying it off to a cleat or other secure point in the cockpit. 
The line will fall into the water, but it does so from amidships or forward of this, so I really don't think there's any chance of it getting caught in the propeller of a sail drive. It's not long enough, and we're shortening it at the same time by hauling it in. And that's it. If the wind is blowing you off the dock quite strongly, first increase the revs astern to get the stern to lie alongside, and then if you need more help, set a slipped stern line, all handled from the cockpit of any yacht.